pleasure to have you on the phone line with us right now. It's been a minute since our last interview. I know. So it's it's overdue. And I am glad. I am glad with everything that I see that is going on with you right now. But first and foremost, I want to say happy belated birthday live on ear. You know? Thank we, we, you. We, Thank we, you. We, we talk about you and entertainment news. And of course, your birthday celebration. <laughs> Wish I was there to enjoy it with you, girl. Look like you had loads of fun. So happy belated birthday. And we wish you nothing more yes. than this. All right, one girl. I you set you. the trend. You set the trend. So um it's it's been a, a while. Um a lot's been going on. The single that we're playing right now in the background, of course, Sweet Like, um, you know, was the soundtrack for the movie Sprinter. And I have to yes. say, I was so excited. I was like, listen to Miguel, listen. <laughs> so you you have to tell us um what how did that even come about when did you got the call and and how did you actually feel and the process in uh you know being on the soundtrack for that movie well it was the first time um they actually called me because i've been featured in several movies before but you know usually that's handled by your publishing company and then sometimes a movie comes out and you don't even know that your song is in there that's what happened to me with a movie called anna but um, this one, we were actually um, contacted by the director from Salter, who loved the song and thought it fit the scene. Mm. And he wanted to know if we were okay with um, having it in the movie. And of course, I was very ecstatic. It's a, it was a Jamaican production, Jamaican actors and everything. So that's how that happened. But I was very ecstatic to get that call. Yes, and I have to say, I truly, truly love this single. And the single we're talking about, just in case you're just tuning in, it's playing in the background right now sweet like and i have to say um it's been a it, the year been looking great in terms of course the streaming with your music the fans are loving you um i i it, it's been 5.5 million streams you know this is just truly truly awesome um with everything that is going on and especially that you know spotify is actually in jamaica so how do you actually feel because i feel like this was overdue especially for the caribbean island um you know that music is basically what uh generates a lot of the income on the island that you know finally there is some move there and recognition um you know especially our culture or music that is so influential so how, how do you actually feel that they made that move well we're very happy that it's now available in the caribbean i mean there's also the um the issue of getting our fans here in jamaica educated about streaming because we need them to understand that we need them to sign up to all these platforms and to consume our music because a lot of them have transitioned 100 percent from purchasing physical records yet so it's the more platforms that are available here is the more we can advise and encourage them you know to be a part of that because a lot of them only think it's youtube and YouTube pays the least. <laughs> so if you're um if you're a consumer of music and if you're a supporter of music and you love music, I would encourage and 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 try to educate the fans about places like Tidal. Um, that's always been available in Jamaica, but no places like Spotify and stuff. You can use your local credit cards because sometimes, for the most part, um, iTunes wasn't allowing like a local credit card and a local address. So we just want the fans to be educated, especially in and around the Caribbean and especially in Jamaica, that they, they're there, they love the music, they want to support it, but they just don't know. Just go online and, and check out Spotify, Tidal, Google Play, all them things. And we're just, as you say, we're excited that it's available now because it's more income stream for the artist, you know, and that's what everybody's looking at now your streams right yes and now it actually counts towards your billboard charting which is amazing right. too so you know that that's a great plus um you know for um a lot of these artists out there so uh i'm, I'm happy that they actually uh, made that move and as you mentioned title uh you know has been doing their thing big shout out to drazy <laughs> black own yes black we, own we, you yes. know exactly <laughs> so we like we like what he's doing so uh you know uh, you know as you say you know the fans need to be educated as to how to stream and actually purchase the music so that you can continue to support um your artists so right. they can continue to give you the great music that you actually love and enjoy and um, I have to say, I am um, so happy with the singles that you've been putting out um, lately. Um, but I am curious, when are we getting another EP? 
from Cecile because I know well, you put up body or work. Well, you're you're asking the right time. We have four weeks, and you're gonna get one. Four weeks. <laughs> yes, four weeks. One is coming out, and I'll tell you first. It's it's gonna be called Sophisticated, and it's um an EP that is done in tandem with ZJ Chrome in on his ZJ Chrome's Presents series. So it's a good time for you to ask that question. Um, the last song I did with him was the one called Break Up. You know, he does a ton of reggae jugglings and we have some dance hall on it as well. So I'm excited. Looking forward to that. Nice. And I and I can say, um, I can guess, of course, based on the title, Sophisticated, because that's just you. You've always been there. Yeah, <laughs> yes. That's There's a twist to that, Tina. So you're going to have to actually listen to, the, is... to the song. Oh, um, I think the first... I think it, I wanted it to be the first single, but I don't think we had agreed on on that. But I love all the songs. All the songs are a different vibe. It's a, it's a you know, it's an EP, it's not a full length album. So it's something right. like seven songs. Right. But right. I love the vibe. I love the vibe of 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 what we're doing so far, and I'm um, looking forward to promoting it. Um, we have the Stormtrooper juggling that we're promoting now. That myself and Scatter and Conley and Penny Bling and Jay did from Down Sound. Nice. Um, records, uh, so we're, we're pushing that as well, and um, yeah, we're just it's a pandemic, and we're trying to adapt and we're trying to stay safe and we're trying to do music, music is what we love, so we just have to figure out how to, um, you know, be innovative and just carry on safely, definitely. And I, I'm curious because, um, I always ask this question, um, you know, how has the pandemic been for you? Um, is there was it a positive because some people it's a positive it, it let them um tap into their creativity and some of course are affected by it financially so how has the pandemic been for you how are you maneuvering through it well um you know initially it was very hard to to adapt because um i was just about to start back touring 2020 i started with a scandinavia tour and um i really wanted just to move away i really wanted to um start you know go on the road and initially when this thing started everybody was thinking oh it's gonna be a few couple months and it's you know it's gonna be over so it took me a while i'm not gonna lie to adapt and to figure out oh my god i can't tour right now what am i gonna do and um i didn't i didn't put out any music initially i was just doing some stuff in my um in my home studio and I released some singles, but then I was like, okay, we have to adapt fast. We have to get up off our feet. We can't be sitting down thinking of what we can't do. We have to find things that we can do. So I had my books. I had um, some books to be uh, wanted to publish for a while. And that's how I ended up doing the first children's book. It wasn't my first that I wrote. It was just the easiest one to put out at this time because it was also um, a time when a lot of people are looking at themselves and looking at their blackness and looking at self-love and i said oh it's gonna fit right in and it's a conversation that i was having with my daughter so it was all about getting up and stop complaining and worrying about what i couldn't do but just find stuff that i could do right nice and and speaking of your book of course uh because i love i love uh you know what the message behind your book is of course the inspiration and of course what it's going to do for the young black queens that are, you know, up, yes. up and coming. And I have to say, uh, for all, all our listeners right now, you guys are able to purchase the book now because it, it, it released yesterday. <laughs> it's official. Yes. No more pre-order. You guys will be able right. to, to, to get it shipped right to you now, uh, you know, because yes. it released yesterday. So um, the reception have been amazing. I have to say big shout out. Of course, I saw uh, Sean Paul's wife, um, you know, yes purchased the book of course for her kids um and we know we, you know no we don't play a collaboration so you guys definitely keep that uh relationship um, um yes and I, I i really really love it so so how how do how do you actually feel about the reception so far about the book um you know it's been a lot of support from my community and that's where it starts your friends your your colleagues in the business that you're in your community your country your fans so it started there for me and i was very excited to share this journey with other moms with other daughters and just um it's it wasn't just about um me telling a story it was something that actually happened to me and my daughter who had her own concerns and and, and small insecurities and i had to make sure that i was there standing beside her 
to let, to build back up her self confidence to let her know not to judge um, her beauty, her her self worth by how others looked or what other people were saying because other people are there trying to educate your kids about what the definition of beauty is, what the definition of self is, and you have to be there to say, you know, um, being different is actually normal. That's the norm. There is no one person that's always going to be the same and there's no one definition of beauty. And your hair is beautiful regardless of if it's short, if it's tall, if it's hard to detangle, whatever. And we're so miseducated for so many years, even us as parents, that the things that we say in front of our children, like her hair pretty or she's so brown and beautiful. We have to be careful of the things that we say because we want to make sure that we're rearing confidence woke queens as you say and we also need the little boys to understand the, their worth as, as as men and how to treat you know us women black women so um the book is for everybody basically it's for any aunt uncle mother grandmother sister anybody who feels like you need to have this converse this very important conversation from their very young you don't want to wait until they're 10 year old to start having this conversation because believe me they're seeing things they're right. seeing things, they're seeing the differences, they're hearing it. We just have to let them know that the differences are normal and we are all beautiful, you know? Very true, very true. And I agree with you 100%. And I, I love the, the fact that you decide to put a book like this out, of course, during this climate, because a lot of kids yeah. are questioning uh, their image. And of course, uh, the, uh, there's a lot of hate that is actually yes. protruded out there for them to hate themselves. So it's nice that you're actually you know uh basically trying to help bridge that hurt to make self-love be the norm and to understand and appreciate what our beauty our natural beauty is and i have to say i love the artwork because i see that you know it's your daughter nana I yeah call her. yes yes that's on the cover I, I i love the fact that you i i don't um think uh you probably understand what you're doing for your daughter for her to like see that you know i i feel chills right. as a black person say oh my gosh if i had seen myself on, on a book cover or in a book um the impact that that will actually put on 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 my life and i have to say you are such a phenomenal mom and the way you're raising your daughter is just amazing you know and thank you there, there's so much great things for her um in the future because she is a gymnast for one guy yes. make sure that you follow yes. her on instagram she can swim <laughs> amazing okay she is just an extraordinaire all around and i love everything about her and um i i'm watching her career and i can't wait to see you know if she go and represent jamaica you know and all right, these levels right. and I, I i love and um appreciate what you're actually doing for the culture you know for our black culture because we need it you're doing it for your your daughter but you're also inspiring and motivating others and and i love right. that you know you tap into another Thank form of so art you know it, yes you have your music and I, as i was us. looking i was i was looking at your picture today i was like you know barbie has been saying and rep, not just saying but representing even with your name for years about being a black queen man your name itself I've been in the business for a long time and I know you and you've always been saying Black Barbie. So I was just looking at the name a while ago before I came on and I was like, wow, you yes. know? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we got to embrace that blackness, you know? Yeah, man. And, and love it. But I, I love, uh, again, I love everything that you're doing. Again, if you're just tuning in to One Love Radio, we have on the phone line calling all the way from Jamaica, the beautiful and talented, the original bad gal herself. Cecile live <laughs> right now and I want everybody to actually go out and purchase the book um, it's available on Amazon Barnes and Noble and I'd love for you to tell them where they could actually get it in Jamaica because we have our listeners all over that's tuned in um, where they could actually right. go in store to purchase it well it's in the bookstore called the Kingston bookshop at all their locations it's also at Fontana Waterloo Road and we're getting more outlets as we speak because a lot of people are interested in the book. I'm working on being able to autograph and ship to my fans because they're saying that they want to get it directly from me. So we're going to have to come up with some way of me being able to do that. So I'm working on that. We're also trying to get the physical books into stores in the Caribbean. But for now, you can always go on Amazon and order. It's called My Hair Story. You can uh, go to Book Baby. You probably might get it faster there. I have an author page there. And you can go Barnes & Noble as well. Wherever books are sold, it's it's available now nice nice so i want everybody to actually go out and support the seal make sure you purchase this book 
you got young beautiful black princesses they need to read and see themselves in these books okay these images yes, are yes. vital are vital to yes. their self building to their character to who they are and and at this point we're loving everything black and we have to embrace it because we were told for so many years that we weren't good enough that our black exactly. is that beautiful so here it is right. you're you're gonna see it and your child could actually see that yes it is all right so make sure you guys go out and buy the book again it's my hair story that's the title of the book all right so you guys can just search it my hair story and just type in Cecile and you guys will see the book pop up all right so we just support and the link is in my bio on instagram so if they go at bad gal Cecile, they can just go to the link in the bio and they can just click one click and it'll take them to whichever one they want to go amazon or barnes and noble stuff like that so it's quite easy to find it nice nice all right so again make sure that you guys go follow her bad girl cecile on instagram and just click the link in her bio all right so i'm, I'm curious to see because it's been a while you, you you told us and we are happy to hear that there's an ep coming soon is there another music video because we had dead to see a visual of cecile right doing her oh thing. Uh, amazing <laughs> yes so we have to have that with the video i mean the ep so as uh, we're planning that now so I will have it for the release of the EP. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And um, again, a date? Do you have a date? I would like to hear it first. It'll either be at the <laughs> very end of March or the beginning of April. Oh. All right. So um, yeah. as you yeah. guys know, no so I'll worries. say four weeks. I'll four say weeks. four weeks. Yeah. Yes. Don't worry. Once I once we get that official release date, you know your girl Black Garb is gonna yeah. be on it and let you guys know in our entertainment news. So no worries, yes. you won't miss out on it. So is there any other projects you're actually working on that your fans could be on the lookout for right now? Well, um, there's some surprises we have coming up. Um, as I said, I have um the juggling that we were working on. Oh, well, we've worked on with Don't Song Call Stormtrooper. That's out now. And we have some new artists that we're working with, Diani. He's, he's, he's one to look out for. He has a song called Heaven's Telegram and his new song, Birthday, on the Stormtrooper. There's also Marcy Chain and she has a song called Lipstick on the Stormtrooper. And then uh, we have lots of other projects coming out and some exciting new stuff that I can't talk about right now. But in another three weeks or so, I'll be able to expound that uh, so yes. more. <laughs> can tell you a little more. Yes, and I won't share yeah. it either. <laughs> I hold it, I hold it, I hold it. No worries. <laughs> but uh, uh, like you said, any uh, as soon as everything is official and it's released and a date, you're gonna know One Love Radio. So enough to worry at all about that. Exactly. All right? So um, you have uh, another single that I recently dropped just like a week ago. Uh, I really love it. Of course, your night. Um, you have to tell us a little bit about that. What was the inspiration behind that single, and will there be a music video for it? So that's the juggling project that we are in charge of, um, Stormtrooper. It's a com it's a collection or a combination of, of, of people that came together musically to create that. Conley from Ward 21 um, did the beat and did some of the production. We had Penny Bling on some of the production, Jay, our engineer, and myself, and Cordell Scatterborough, who is a business partner for many years. We um, the project coordinator. So that's the project I was telling you about. My song came about because we had... Um, a party series that we had started, uh, I think it was February or January 2020, called Big Big. And it was a Thursday night party that we used to have in a club in um, in, <laughs> in, um, in, um, in Jamaica called Sky Dwellers. And of course, Corona came and mushed it up. Oh, Lord. But we, we felt like we wanted to release the rhythm. Nice, nice, nice. Well, like I said, well, we're going to make sure it's like Corona, though. Anyway, um, Corona, and I stop, no. We actually did for the party. Yes, All right, so that's the, the inspiration behind the, the the song was just something that we wanted to be able to play in the club and it would work for the club. So, um, <laughs> Diani has his birthday song on it. But I have to say that I'm I'm actually happy that you did decide, of course, to release this single anyway. <laughs> yeah, so it that's what that was. <laughs> Okay, all right. So, um, I I'd love for you to just let them know where they could, uh, you know, purchase your music. Of course, the book again, and if there's anything else that you'd like your fans to know, um, I can't wait to see you back in the states. But like we said, we know while uh, go on and sing, 
you know, until we can right, definitely right. reunite again. And, I mean, know, you guys, you guys must be having it really nice up there because people are already calling me for like jerk festivals and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, it's about being safe and keeping ourselves safe for when life resumes. I don't know if we're ever going to go back to normal as we know it, but we have to, you know, it, life has to move on, you know? So at the end of the day, it's just about keeping safe and trying to maneuver into whenever the next tour in life are going to be maybe 2022, late 2021. <laughs> And, um, you know, they can find me on um, everywhere music is sold. And again, the book is out. But my Instagram is at Bad Girl CC. That's the best way to keep current with me or at, at Bad Girl CC again on Facebook. So just rope in and check the vibe. And we have enough new music to come and new things doing. So just look out for that. And big up to all the fans that's been supporting me all over the years. My fan base always stays with me, you know. So I have to big them up. Are you a bad girl? Of course, I'm going to stay with you. <laughs> We're definitely love to stay with you. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> big up, big yeah. up yourself, Cecile. Um, I thank you so, so, so much, of course, for taking the time out to do this interview. Come and also, you're busy and you're on the road, and I appreciate it, you know, that you <laughs> take the you, time mama. to do it. So, bless up yourself, and um, I wish you nothing but the best, of course, and your beautiful daughter, super, super talented. You guys, make sure you follow her on Instagram and support her. And I cheer her on because um, that helped to inspire and, um, you know, propel the talent that's within even more. Because she just, she talented yes. bad. Walk on. Yes. We can't do that. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Mama. <laughs> and can't welcome. wait to talk to you again. Uh, definitely. All right. So until next time. Stay okay, Mama. Stay safe. All right. Thank Bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, so again, big, big shout out to Bad Girl Cecile. Yes, calling all the way from JA. Of course, it's always a pleasure. As you guys hear, Jerk Fest. Yeah, then my ox, we are ready. Um, hopefully, things do get back to normal soon. But until then, we don't know what we have to do. Just try to enjoy ourselves safely. Because you don't know a curfew. One thing I want to make, I know, so they're not out like we. Like she said, we feel what thing kind of seem a little bit better. Of course, and what's going on in JA. But um appreciate and enjoy on a freedom. But again, make sure Sona stay safe. But right now I'm gonna play the single that she said it was for the club because they was gonna have a little, you know, party in the club every night. And then COVID just mash it up. But me not in the line. I like the single. So check it out right here. It's called Your Nights, right here on One Love Radio.